What is up everyone? So I just paid my respects to a childhood fever dream, essentially. That is a big part of the reason of why I am who I am. Now we're looking at an abandoned car dealership and this is also in Overland Park. And this is part of it that might be closed off more often. So I'll show you a panorama of this, but let's take a look at the main building. Because this is where the excitement is. You can see the garage is empty. Okay, so this So this was either Dodge or Jeep, but a dark hallway as you can see. Still got a hose here. Wonder if Nope, it doesn't. Look at that. There's, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Generally, my experience with car dealerships is that they are not gutted like this, but, you know, I guess, I guess this one is. You can see the label scar that says certified pre-owned. But this is a huge facility, so not all of it is going to be gutted like this. Hopefully not all of it is going to be gutted like this. Oh, you can see the power is off. take a look at this building over here. Hopefully this one's going to be a little more exciting. I think this is the service department it was referring to. And we are going to get to see the whole building because that gate is open over there. If anyone remembers that car, that Volkswagen dealership in Oneonta that I filmed, when comparing this to a car dealership, I'm often comparing it to that. So, just thought I'd mention that as something. I was considering biking the trolley trail today today but like with the weather I kind of decided against this fleet elite no way no I wonder nope I don't those sunflowers look pretty cool but look at all this. A little nervous if there's power on, but. There is no power on, so nothing to worry about. Utilities have been cut off. Everything is just open in here. It's like, wow. But there isn't a ton of stuff in there. It's all gutted for the most part, but I'm just like, 
you know, damn. This is like legit abandoned. I thought with that there, it's possible that that door was gonna be open too. I mean, when I'm moving across the country, I want to be careful to not get in, to not get in any trouble. If that makes sense. So I'm not going to be, say, as reckless as I was when I was going inside the abandoned Macy's in Binghamton that I know for a fact had power on. Wow, look at this space. A lot of stuff back there. And like, I know there is power to parts of this facility. I, I believe there is. No, there's not. <laughs> Maybe I should take a more in-depth look if any of these doors come open, because... Like, I mean, <laughs> it's not being monitored. Which, like, I'll be honest, I'm a little concerned about... I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. Like, damn. Look at all this. Like, I mean, part of me is nervous about, hey, I'm a trans person who's urban exploring alone in Kansas. And I mean, if it's this easy for me to get into this place, you know, it's just as easy for anyone else to, and people who might have bad intentions towards people like me. And see that one's dead bolted, but this is all gutted. So it's not like there's a ton to see inside, but I mean, I, I, I'm still just like, I don't want to be too, I, even though I know there's not power, I don't want to be too reckless doing this alone. Like maybe if my, maybe if I have a friend who can do urban exploring with me, I can, I can say, hey, I know this place. Let's go do it together. And I may very well have that pretty soon. Damn, one of the windows is out. It's like, how is this place in such good condition? Knowing that you've got the power off, you've got windows blown out. Like this place is, And it appears to have a fresh paint job. Like this is, this is one of those places that's a bit of a mystery, if I'm being honest. It appears to be in too good of a condition to, to be, aban that, to be abandoned for that long, but it's also, one of these places that that just is super abandoned 
and like I mean I am gonna have to come back here with with a friend at some point because like I mean there are like like I mean if there are any urban explorers who are watching this that want to do a meetup with me in in Kansas City or or anything you know let me know <laughs> like I'm I'll I'll meet up with you and we're going to explore this place we're going and and that way my overly cautiousness doesn't it it will not have to get in the way of it will not have to get in the way of getting to see everything that's that's out here because like I mean I do have overly cautious sensibilities for for exploring a place like this alone right off of a major road a major road that becomes an interstate if you just keep going straight on it <laughs> but yeah like I mean I, I really want to meet up with someone here like, like I mean if you're in the if you're in the Kansas City Overland Park general area, let's let's meet up. Like, like I mean, I like we can let's meet up and film this place together. If you're if you're an urban explorer like me, because I'm because my timidness about this it's all based in. I don't want to get in trouble. So, and like, I mean, I feel much more secure if I'm doing this with someone. I parked over here at the Starbucks, which even though it's a very boycottable brand right now, it's definitely good that they're able to provide a place to park for when filming that place because they have the parking lot blocked off to get in there. So that's why I parked over here. <laughs> but yeah, that'll do it for this car dealership, for this Jeep dealership. And I mean, I will say if I do seem a little emotional, I did just visit the site of Metcalf South when filming this. So like that was... Metcalf South is, it sort of exists as a childhood fever dream for me, so, and it's a big part of why I'm into urban exploring, so, like, I mean, the emotions are running high after having visited the site of it and seeing it all gone slash new development there, like, emotions are running high right now, but, yeah, I, I really do want to find someone that I can explore this jeep dealership with because there's definitely more to see out here 